Because for me, I really don't wear fragrances to get compliment. I compliment myself. I'd be like, I know I smell good. Like, I smell good. I do not need, I do not need you to tell me that I smell good. I know I smell good. Like, I know I smell good. <laughs> Are we live? We are. We are live. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I know. I know. I know. Finally. Okay. I'm, I'm doing it, y'all. If you know me, don't tell me it's about them time because I know. But if you do not know me, hello, welcome. My name is Alalipop and I'm in my Glam HQ all, where we just talk about all things fabulous. This channel is going to be about fragrances, beauty, fashion, black girl magic, all things fabulous. And if those things are things that you are interested in, then duh, what are you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Now listen. You could have been anywhere else in the world doing God knows what, <laughs> watching anything else, but you chose to be here and I truly, truly appreciate it. You are truly appreciated. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glam Fam so we can shine together. Okay, the Glitter and Glam Squad, that's what we are. And um, while you're at it, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always always be notified when i upload a video so in that in that case let's get into in that case let us get into the video now today's video is going to be about i want to kick it off very positive okay so what better way to start this off than to let you know my most complimented fragrances Will I say my collection? I feel like right now, within the past year, because I have fragrances that I used to get compliments on, but I haven't reached for them in a while. So these are like what I have been wearing within the past few months, the past year, and I get compliments on. Now, I don't know if I should do like a particular order because I feel like most times when I do things in a particular order, I always mix up the numbers. So in no particular order, one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection, my friends do not like it, but when I tell you when I go outside, it's a wrap. <laughs> and that is Annie by Nishane. Now, I cannot... This fragrance is so good. Before I got my new drug of choice, this was my drug of choice because look at my dent. When I tell you this dent that I put in, Annie was like in two, three months dent. I will always have this fragrance in my collection. I used a blazer when I was out of town and I used Annie that day. And I know it's the blazer. I only wore it for like maybe three hours tops. And I put it in my closet. I was doing some try-ons and I put that blazer on. I'm like, what is that? What is that? And then it hit me that it was Annie. And when I tell you that was like two months ago and Annie's still smelling on it. Now this fragrance, whenever I use it, I get compliments from men. When I was in Jamaica, I used Annie and the ladies were after me asking me what I had on. Like it was a showstopper. Everywhere I went, I got in the elevator and people are like, what is that? You smell good. I was going everywhere. I thought this up in November. Everyone was asking me what I had on. Men loved it. Women loved it. Everywhere I went, it was like a magnet. This 
is a winner is a masterpiece i will always have annie in my collection and once i go through this bottle i will get a second bottle so annie by nishane one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection you should check it out but don't blind buy it because i had friends come over and they tried it one of them she blind um, sniffed it and it was her least favorite out of everything I had and she couldn't believe it because I rave about it and I'm like listen if you smell this on paper you'd be like this is Annie but when it hits when you when that when Annie hits you you just wake up one morning and smell and you'd be like oh my gosh what is that and that's what Annie is so Nishane Annie one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection moving on this one is like my new addiction it's my new drug <laughs> it's me in a bottle and that is overture by zerzhov this fragrance <sighs> i love this fragrance even if i don't get compliments from it i don't care that's how much i love overture like i would still wear it because for me i really don't wear fragrances to get compliment i compliment myself i'll be like oh, i know i smell good like i smell good i do not need i do not need you to tell me that i smell good i know i smell good like i know i smell good overture I took Overture with me to Morocco in February. The women in the restaurants, the waiters, they were like, they were trying to serve. They were trying to do their job and they couldn't. They just came and they were like bees around me like, oh, I smell something. What is that? I had to give this lady a sample because I always go around with my decant in case I knew I was going on girl strip. I feel like somebody may have a fragrance that I want. So I took a decant to take some and <laughs> I got a fragrance from my sister and I have not tried it before. So I took a sample in case I loved it, which I ended up loving, but I forgot to take a sample. So I always move around with like a decant and stuff. The women were obsessed. Men, they were all guard, gathered like around me. They wanted to know what I had on. And it was Overture. Overture. Overture by Zerzhov. This is amazing. Every time I wear it, it's a showstopper. You should definitely check it out. And Zerzhov, my love for Zerzhov. As you're getting used to me on this channel, you realize that Zerzhov is it's one of my favorite houses. The next fragrance for my most complimented list is Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Ma. This fragrance, next time when I'm out of this, I think I'm going to go with the 100 ml. I know I didn't talk about what Annie was like. Annie is a vanilla fragrance, a green vanilla. Overture is a fig and incense bomb. This is rose and incense bomb. Whenever I wear this, men ask me, like, it's my scent bubble is incredible that nobody can come into me. I wore this on a trip with my husband and he felt like he had on his heavy hitters and I put this on and I layered it with Rose and Cura by Frederick Ma. We were driving and he's like, I can't smell my perfume. All I could smell is you. What do you have on? <laughs> and I said, portrait of a lady. And when he hears, he hears the ladies like, no, he doesn't want that. But he's like, oh. And then I, when we got their compliments, I've worn this for brunch and I was walking through a crowd to go meet my friends and the people asked me, they stopped me like, what, what, what is that? So I walked by, they're like, oh my, oh, you smell good. What's that? And I said, portrait of a lady by Frederick Ma. It's just, it's a masterpiece. The fragrances I'm showing you right now, three are going to be for lifers for me right now. This three I've showed, they're for lifers. The next Complimentary fragrance in my collection. I have not brought it out this spring, but I used it all through last spring and summer. This is a Cento Overdose. Oh, it's not heavy anymore. <laughs> a Cento Overdose by Zerzhov. 
if you're new here, which you are, <laughs> Zerjov is my favorite house. I feel like Sergio Momo gets me. I love the bottles. I love the juice, everything they do. This fragrance was the was a monster for me last year, all through spring, summer, and fall. I was rocking a Cento overdose and I got compliments. I used it. I was an Ashore B girl for a wedding and I had this and I had the, some girls come to me and they were like, what do you have on? You smell amazing. It was hidden. I wear this. I wore this one time to my friend's house. I got in and she's like, <laughs> the whole house, you just took over this place. I wore this to the grocery store. People are asking me what you have on. I wore this to a party. People are asking me what I have on. And this was like my signature scent last year. This and another fragrance I'm going to talk about because it was so good. The compliments. And I'm holding it like, okay, I may need another bottle by the end of this year. But a Cento Overdose. This is a pine and aldehyde. The notes that they listed and what is in here, I do not smell it because I. this is not pine to me. This is fruits. It has fruity notes, floral. I feel like there's jasmine in here. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. A Cento Overdose by Zerjov. You should check it out. It just smells so rich, so luxurious. It smells like a wealthy lady. I always want to smell rich. Next, the next complimented, uh, most complimented fragrance in my collection. This is a combo. And that's Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton. I've been layering it because I want to get more rose from it because it's heavy on the oud. And I want more rose from it. So I put a monster. Intense Cafe by Montal. It's a jammy rose. I use this too. I layered this too. <laughs> and when all the compliments I got from this were from men. And then I was traveling and I used this as well. When I tell you at the airport, while I was trying to get my luggage together, the counter, I got compliments. When I was going through TSA, the agent, I got compliments. When I got to the waiting area, I got compliments. When I was about to board, you know, when they, when they start announcing, I stood up and there was a man behind me and he said, you smell incredible. And the one next to him said, you know, you said it. I wanted to say it. <laughs> you smell amazing. What do you have on? And I said, Louis Vuitton, Ombre Nomad, and Intense Cafe. But he's like, oh, I smell that Louis. I think the Louis was the oud was hitting and the rose from Intense Cafe. The coffee note is very minimal here. The rose is, is what shines through. But together, when I tell you, this is a money powerhouse and you should check. I have never heard anybody talk about this two together. And that's a combo I created. Here's my Ombre Nomad Dent. I don't know if you can see it. It's somewhere around here, which is huge for a fragrance like Ombre Nomad. I don't know where my dent for Intense Cafe is because of the way the bottle is, but I think it's given half, almost a little half or a little more than half. We have three more fragrances to go. The next one is a cheapie. And it's a cheapie that I recently acquired, but it's been doing wonders. And this is Seha Shetla. Seha Shela, Seha Shela, I just say Seha Shela by Swiss Arabia. This is rose and oud sweetness. This is incredible. For what I paid for it, this is so good. It smells opulent. It smells, smells luxurious. It smells Middle Eastern. For me, this smells so good. It's, it can, it's, it can go toe to toe with, um, it can go toe to toe with um, Portrait of a Lady, although Portrait of a Lady has more, for, be more sillage. Like, I think the sillage from that is more. It can go toe to toe with my Ombre Noman. This is a gorgeous scent. If you love Velvet Rose and Oud by Jo Malone, you would love this. If you love Juliet Has a Gun, Lady Vengeance, you would love this. This is Rose and Oud. So it's been done before. It's not new. Okay, it's not a new, it's nothing under the, it's not groundbreaking, but it's amazing. And this, you can get this for like $40, $40, 45 
dollars for what you get for this i think that this is a winner it's a stunner and i like the bottle the bottle doesn't really feel cheap but then of course the montel bottles are different they're very light but when i i can't compare it to a zergeon bottle the bottle is a plain bottle they the design here i think the lid the cap is where they you know they try to make it feel good and it's it, it's a good size and i can pick it up can i no 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 i cannot but this is amazing my dent i think i'm still around somewhere here but whenever i wear this i get lots of compliments i wear this when i'm going out to the stores i get stopped on the aisle like what what is that and when the weather is cold is when is the best time for it i've been stopped at walmart <laughs> i've been stopped at my son's um uh, my son's daycare because of this fragrance and it is so good for the price it's amazing seashe by swiss arabia we have two more to go <laughs> the next one is rouge veloge by ysl this is rose and patchouli bomb this fragrance is so sexy. The house of YSL, after Zerzhov, I think YSL is like creeping. They kind of knocked Dior out. They make some of the sexiest fragrances. Look at my dent. This was like, I got this last year. I used it in the spring and pre-summer. And that's my dent. This fragrance is my good luck fragrance. If you, like, I used it for like an interview. I got in and it was like, oh my gosh, what smell? Like, you smell amazing. I, this is the fragrance I use if I'm doing presentation. I'm going to work. I'm going for date night. I'm going to a party. I wore this for a party and I got compliments from like five people from the party. People hugged me and like, you smell good. It was just like my friends, when I used it, they would be like, what do you have on? What is that? What is that? everywhere there was no there's no time i've worn this fragrance i've not gotten compliment this fragrance is just ugh, i'm addicted i need to spray, spray it on my wrist that's how i got it i sprayed it on my wrist while i was shopping and i couldn't stop sniffing my wrist that's how i'm like I, I i'm like i need it in my life and this is one fragrance that i wish i had the big bottle of it is so good like if this i recommend that you blind buy because it's one of those fragrances that if you love rose you will like it and patchouli is funky but for some reason this is well put together it's just so good to the point that it feels delicious <laughs> oh it is amazing rouge veloge by ysl one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection and finally last but not the least it's a cupcake. Passion de l'amour by the house of Sillage. This is oud. I think it has raspberries in it. Where it has this powdery effect. This is the best um, from House of Sillage, in my opinion. This and I smelled I have Hoots Bijou. I have Tierra. Um, Whispers of Truth, I do not own. I would like to have that, but right now I think I'm good for the cupcakes because <laughs> they're pricey as well. But this was the first cupcake I bought. And to be honest, I got this based off of what? Sheree? Was it Sheree Lifestyle? Yes. Seha Shela, I got from Polina's, um, Polina Share. She recommended that and I picked it up based off her recommendation. But this one, I think. Sheree made me get it because she said it was good, good. She's like, it is good, good. I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. And I got it. And I'm like, gosh. And every time I've worn it, I've gotten compliments from men and women. When they hug me, they're like, oh, you smell good. I keep getting, you smell good. You smell good. And when there was a day I was going out with my husband and his brother they had their fragrances and i got in the car and his brother she, he is a fragrance guy like he he's a fragrance fragrance guy and i got in the car and he's like and i had the ac blowing at me and he's like as you got in the car what is like it's changed the whole dynamics of this car what do you have and i said and it was passion de l'amour and then we got to the party and I was being hugged and they were like, 
you smell good. I said, thank you. Oh, you smell amazing. You smell good. I'm like, yes. So this is that fragrance I use when I want to smell and feel like a boss. This is a boss, babe. I do not recommend you blind buy this. This is, it has oud in it. So with oud, I don't recommend blind buying. But this is amazing. And from the house of Siaj, I think this is one of the best um, that they have. And this is a for lifer for me. I think I will always have this fragrance in my collection. Out of all the packs, the one that I feel like is the most safe blind buy, I would say either Rouge Veloge or Accento Overdose. I think a safe blind buy. So Rouge Veloge is so beautiful. But yeah, those are the most complimentary fragrances in my collection right now. And let me know what your most complimentary fragrance is. Maybe it's something that I own. If it's not something I own and is your most complimented, I would like to check it out because who wants to who wants to spare spend a lot of money even if you don't spend a lot of money but who wants to go out you spray your fragrance and you come out and no one's telling you you smell good i want you to tell me i smell good <laughs> and now i'm at that point i don't fish for compliments i feel like hmm people expect me to smell good so i'm like what can i use and most times it's like okay everything i have what else i keep looking for the next big thing because i feel like the expectation now is high for me to smell good anyways tell me what you think about the fragrances i mentioned if you have any one from here in your collection if you have a fragrance that you want me to try out that is your most complimented i would love to it doesn't matter the price I, I just shared a cheapy. It can be a cheapy. It can be luxury. Let me know. I'll go look at the notes and, and yeah, maybe I'll check it out. I may check it out because I want to smell good if you're getting complimented on that. So just let me know. Thank you for watching and don't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. And in all things, add glitter. When in doubt, add glitter.